things left on this truck to do before I store it until I find a place to put it and save up some money for the brakes and rotors, things like that. It needs a new set of tires. Anyway, I got a few things left before it goes into storage. Or gets stored a little longer. Uh, new spark plugs, just the cheap uh, copper ones. That's all they had in stock. Got a new gasket for the air box that goes uh, in between the air box and the throttle body. Got a new throttle cable since the uh, current one is very sticky. note to put a screen in the air box to keep the mice from getting in there, but I ended up just taking that uh, tube off so the mice can't get uh, into the near the air filter. Got a cap. Uh, cap and rotor for the distributor. A few small tune-up items. Not too big a job. See, we got the air box disconnected. So, if the mice want to make nests, they can do it in there. I'll take care of that when we come back a little bit later this year and get the truck out of here. So, let's start from the back cap and, dis cap and rotor. line this up and then move the spark plugs over so I don't mix them up. spark plug wires. Just like so. So one wire that wasn't quite long enough to pop on there, but that's okay. It, uh, can't mix that up if there's only one off. there. Looks like that just pulls off. Nice. Nope. Yep. Makes it easy. Little, little unit there. Just give 
a better look at the old one. See a lot of carbon soot there. And a little a few crusties on the tip there. Looks like slag. In case there's a slot. Make sure it goes into. This old one amp battery maintainer battery charger. Something I'll uh, just leave plugged in while it's sitting stored since this this battery is dead and needs uh, holds enough charge to start a truck. But if it sits more in a week, it doesn't uh, loses all that power. So I'll when uh, I store the truck, I'll keep this plugged in. All right, let's put on this gasket real quick. Just a cork material feeling kind of gasket there. Before we put the air filter back on, let's get this throttle cable replaced. The throttle and the cable. All right, that was pretty easy. Just a couple plastic tabbies to squeeze in, and then that plastic little sleeve there slipped out of the once you gave it some slack. So, easy deal on that. Yep, just like the one in my RV, this rubber gasket is a little too thick. I can't get those plastic clippies to snap into place. It's a really stupid design by Pioneer Automotive Industries. I do not recommend this company. This is, they make them all like this. It's really... Oh, that fits. That's amazing.
Oh yeah, much better. I can actually just put a little bit of pressure and move it just a little bit if I need to. Before the cable was so stiff, if I tried to just take it off slowly, like on this gravel driveway, put a little bit of pressure and it wouldn't move. So it would finally give, and I'd be peeling out in the driveway gravel. So that's nice. I can have a uh, and take off slowly now. Okay, time to gap these spark plugs. Got the copper auto lights. They're the cheapest, uh, most readily available, but they wear out quicker. If you want something that'll last a long time, what are the mileages on this? Might be something you have to look up on the internet, but uh, it's pretty significant from copper to titanium to titanium times two, double coated. Lots of options, but uh, they're out of the uh, everything else except these. So I just went ahead and got these. Asked them as well. I always check with the guys at the um, auto parts store if these are pre-gapped and they are not and he looked down his computer real quick and wrote that down for me 0 0.035 inches so you can gap those with uh, either these little disc gap tools that they have at the auto parts store you just wedge that in between uh, the tip and the bar I forget what those are called but since I have one of these little tools it's an older older tool of my dad's that I have no idea what the age on this is. I'm pretty sure it's older than I am. But the reason I'm going to use this is because it's got the wrench on it so I can wrench on that bar and move it that way instead of prying in between. Um, the, I don't know, it's probably does not the biggest deal. This stuff feels like something that wouldn't really damage that. It's, well, this this is older. You can see this is the newer stuff, and it's got a really smooth feeling kind of finish on it. So that might be okay, but I'm gonna use this. So you can just pry on that. Got two different sizes there, I think. Maybe there's just two of them. Change the spacing that way. So I'm gonna pick out a point. It's gonna be the bigger one of these, I think. Point zero, yeah, this one. I'm starting to see the beauty of those discs. Kind of just wedge it in there and puts it right where it needs to be. That's a little finicky. Try not to go too far. There we go. Just enough to let it slip through. .30, zero, .40, so it'll just be that line in the middle. Check it. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps a combination of the two. It's got a wrench kind of deal on here as well, but it's more for prying. Yeah, see, I don't really like that. No, I'm just gonna use the other thing. That's I don't like that at all. Never really used one of these. I got two of them though. Yeah, I'm gonna just. Oh boy, that's a lot better sitting down and just getting this right up close so you can see what you're doing. This I like this tool a whole lot better. So it's two down. Nice, got that one on the first try. Just give that a little twist and 
Boom, right on the money. Third one. This is actually a little fun. They're all way over gapped. Just a little tiny one. Pretty close. It was quick. I'm gonna have to look on Amazon for one of these. I, uh, I'm sure they have new variations of this. And I got that done in just a few minutes. There's the old spark plugs. All pretty burnt and mismatched since I broke one on the initial uh, getting the truck going in the first place. So uh, that one, the black one's not an original. Sounding pretty good. And looking. Alright you guys, thank you for watching. Next up we got a set of brake lights that aren't working. So we're going to troubleshoot that in the next video. Stay tuned. Have a good day.